Hello, today I have a house review. It's the house Stefan Humbert Lucas. And I have a little one here, God of Fire. If you are curious to find out more about it and two of his brothers and sisters, keep on watching. I am traveling to Malaysia and I decided to bring some perfumes with me and one of them is a perfect choice and it's from Stefan Humbert Lucas, God of Fire. It's supposed to be a mango scent, but for me I don't get much mango. It's beautiful. And it could have been as well on the list of perfumes that spark joy. It's so, so nice. Top notes, mango, lemon, ginger, red berries, middle notes, woody notes, kumarin, jasmine, base notes, musk, agarwood, cipri oil, oil, and amber. Stefan Humber Lucas is the perfumer for all the fragrances that I will mention today. And it really lifts my mood. It's also making me feel energized in the same way as Creed Aventus for her does it. I think the citruses and whatever it has combined does that. Imagine a slight mango, but the fresh abstract way is not realistic mango so mango and you are chewing a mint gum but the flavor is almost gone it has something as a chewing gum and i don't know why maybe the cipri oil oil or the earthiness makes me imagine mint and for me it's also long lasting, I think I'm anosmic to some of the notes after a while because I can't feel it after a few hours, but then the next day I can still smell it on my hair, so it's beautiful. I associate this with Kuala Lumpur, not only because I wrote it, it was a perfect choice. Kuala Lumpur is a concrete jungle, you have the most amazing buildings, skyscrapers, amazing offices, but at the same time you have the most incredible nature and rainforest and the tallest trees and for example I was walking down the street and I was waiting for the light to turn green and then I was hearing some beautiful bird singing and I look up there were two yellow birds, like so tropical, you don't see that in Europe and it's amazing. So this is a tropical and city life version of a powerful person. It's very unique, it's not similar to anything that I have in my collection. And it's a perfect statement, try it out if you haven't. And I wouldn't fly by it. It's not as you expect. It's quite special. Soleil de Jeda, mango case. I wanted to try another mango, although my favorite so far is God of Fire. And this mango case is supposed to be creamier and also has coconut. It's very powerful and it has mango mixed with a sun tan lotion mixed with some greenness on my skin. You could say that it's like the mango skin, which mango kiss, mango skin. <laughs> Top notes. Mango, wild chamomile oil, orange blossom, middle note, ylang ylang, amber, coconut, base note, earring butter, Benzoin and vanilla from Madagascar. If God of Fire is the city version of the tropical scent, this one is 100% tropical. God of Fire is Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Soleil de Jeda Mango Kiss is Borneo. You know Borneo is the third largest island in the world. You are there. You are in the most pure beach and the sun is rising 
the sand is almost white and the water is turquoise. You are sitting on the sunbed and you appreciate the nature and you feel grateful for such a unique opportunity and you are having some mango slices which also include the skin and you are drinking a coconut cocktail. This one is beautiful and it's also a long lasting a statement. It's not something that I am purchasing at the moment. I have to try it more. It has something that bothers me. I think the creaminess is too much as a body cream. Yeah, I will try it more. Again, we have one of my favorites. It's Venom Incarnate. This smells like the most natural strawberry that you can imagine. And it has something deeper. It's more complex than that. It's not just a body mist with strawberry. And it makes me imagine the strawberry jam that you eat with pancakes. And it makes me really hungry smelling this one. Top notes. Wild strawberry, strawberry, caramel, blackberry, middle notes. Raspberry, Virginian cedar, cinnamon, base notes, Russian leather, tonka bean, vanilla, and patchouli. I don't get any leather on my skin. It's just delicious strawberry and it's very powerful. If you spray it once, you will fill up the room. And it's not a simple strawberry. The story that I imagine, it makes me go in the fantasy land. It makes me imagine Red Riding Hood, but not the immature version of it. Imagine the movie Red Riding Hood with Amanda Seyfried. She was so beautiful with her Red Riding Hood cape. Meets the Wolfman. So you are the main character in Red Riding Hood and you meet Benicio del Toro. This is so seductive. This is a dark VIP strawberry. I love it. I also have from Stefan Humbert Lucas Sundance, the one in the brown bottle. That one is actually my favorite. If you want to see the full review and the story, Check out my video on perfumes that spark joy. I will link it somewhere up here. I hope you enjoyed this type of video, a short house review. This chair is squishy. Hope to see you next time. Wear what makes you happy and take care.